All right, let's talk about planning your new Drupal site. This is learning module number one now that we're all set up and we want to introduce you to our site building workflow. And it looks like this. Plan, install, content, extend, layout, people, and manage. Now, this is just a suggestion. Obviously, you can install all of your modules during the installation phase like we just did a moment ago. We're going to take more time under number four to talk about how else you can extend your Drupal site using contributed modules and themes. So the first step is to plan and then install, content, extend, layout, people, and manage. Number five is layout. And that's where we're going to talk about all the different layout options you have with Drupal, including themes. You don't have to wait till number five to install your theme, but that's when we're going to talk about it. And that's one of the great things with Drupal. A lot of what we're going to discuss can be done at different times depending on your own workflow as well as what's ready from the client. Sometimes the client just hasn't decided on all of the roles and permissions. So the great thing with Drupal is you don't have to worry about that right at the beginning. You can manage that right at the end of the process. Same thing with the theme. Sometimes you'll have a theme right at the beginning of the site building workflow, but more often than not, you won't because that's one of those things that gets left to the end. Again, great thing about Drupal, you can mix this up any way you want. For the purpose of this course, however, we're going to stick with the workflow you're seeing on the screen. We've planned the site for you. I'll talk about that in an upcoming video. We've already installed Drupal and even installed some modules using Drush. The next thing we'll talk about is content. If you've taken any of our earlier training, you've seen this slide before. The vast majority of Drupal websites are built through what's called site building, and that's what this course is for. Core and contrib modules go into the vast majority of what you'll do in your site. About 20% of the average Drupal site might be custom code. Less custom is always better. And honestly, I've built some pretty good Drupal sites without ever using custom code. It just depends on the project. Less is better because it doesn't have to be maintained by you. So what is site building then? Site building is architecturing a framework to collect the data and display it as defined. That's the technical definition. Site building really is making sure all your visitors are able to see and access the things they need, selecting and configuring modules and themes, matching approved design with layouts and styles, and this is all done without doing any code. Now, you can, of course, add some code, you can, of course, do some template overrides if you need to and things like that. We'll be mentioning those as we go. You might want to take the Drupal 8 layout and theming and model development courses as well. But site building specifically talks about doing what you can with core and contributed modules and themes. It's pretty exciting what Drupal can do. And of course, by the time you add contributed modules and themes, you can build very robust websites. Well, on any Drupal page, you'll probably know that the theme defines the regions. There's a header region, content, sidebar, and footer. And Drupal 8 has made some changes in how these work. We'll talk about that as we go. Blocks are placed in regions, and menus can appear in a block region, or they can be hard-coded into the theme. A block is a functional element, like a search bar, or content, links, or even a views list, or a welcome message. Blocks can contain just about anything you want, and a lot of different modules give you new blocks to place. And again, we'll do that as we go. To demonstrate block regions, you'll click on Structure, Blocks, and then demonstrate the block region. And that looks like this. These are the block regions we'll be working with in the beginning of our course before we add our new theme. And finally, the block region dropdowns allow us to place that content or blocks in the regions that we saw when we demonstrated those block regions. So that's just a quick reminder about how Drupal builds a page and how your theme affects the layout of your site. 